All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. One man in his time plays many parts. How true. Ladies and gentlemen, where better to begin our exploration into the complete works of the greatest of all English playwrights than in Verona, Italy, with two of his most beloved characters, Romeo and Juliet. Now, Adam and Reed are going to assist me by portraying all the major characters in Romeo and Juliet while I fill in with bits of crucial narration. We begin with the prologue. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we lay our scene, from ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, whose misadventure piteous o'erthrows do, with their death, bury their parents' strife. Thank you very much. Thank you. Act one, scene one. In the street meet two men, tall and handsome. One, Benvolio, the other named Samson. Their hatred fueled by an ancient feud, for one serves Capulet, the other Montague. Oh, I, I like tries on some cheap rises, or like in the morning. I like to see. Then, I, oh, it's oh, him. him. I hate his family, hate his dog, hate them all. <laughs> oh, do you bite your thumb at me, sir? No, sir, I do but bite my thumb. Do you bite your thumb at me, sir? No, sir, I do not bite my thumb at you, sir, but I do bite my thumb. Do you quarrel, sir? Quarrel, sir, no, sir. But if you do, sir, I am for you. I serve as good a man as you. Ha! No, better. Yes, better. Ooh. You lied! Twisting your hand. Ugh. It's really gonna hurt you. Blah. Rebellious subject. Uh oh, it's the prince. Enemies to the peace, profaners of this neighbor's stained steel. You, Capulet, shall go along with me. Benvolio, come you this afternoon to know our further pleasure in this case. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, where is Romeo? Saw you him today. Right glad I am. He was not at this fray. Ah, oh, but see, he comes. <laughs> Romeo, he cried, I'll know his grievance or be much denied. Good morrow, cuz. Is the day so young? But new struck nine. By me, sad hours seem long. But sadness lengthens Romeo's hours. Not having that which having makes them short. In love? Out. Of love? Out of her favor where I am in love. Alas, that love so gentle in his view should be so rough and tyrannous in proof. Alas, that love whose view is muffled still should without eye see pathways to his will. Oh, oh, go ye to the Feast of Capulets. There sups the fair Rosalind, whom thou so lovest, with all the admired beauties of Verona. Go thither and compare her face to some that I will show. Oh, baby. And I shall make thee think thy swan a crow. Ha-ha! I'll go along, no such sight to be shown, but to rejoice in splendor of mine own. <laughs> and so much for Act One. It wasn't that good. <laughs> now to the Feast of Capulet, where Romeo is doomed to meet his Juliet, and where, in a scene of timeless romance, he'll try to get into Juliet's pants. <laughs> oh, la, la, she doth teach the torches la, to burn la, bright. La, la, Did my heart love till la, now, la, for sweat its sight, la, for I ne'er saw true beauty till this night. La, 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 la. If I profane with my unworthiest hand this holy shrine, the gentle fine is this. My lips, to blushing pilgrims ready stand, to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. Oh, good pilgrim, you do wrong your hands oh. too much, which mannerly devotion shows in this. For saints have hands that pilgrims' hands do touch, and palm to palm is holy palmer's kiss. Have not saints lips and holy palmers I too? I they must use in prayer. Well then, dear saint, let lips do what hands no, do. No, saints do not move, they grant for prayer's sake. And move not while prayer's effect, I pray. Then from my lips of... Sin that they have touched. Oh, sin from my lips. Trespass sweetly urged. Give me my sin again. Oh, look, I don't want to kiss you. Either. Look, it's in the script. I don't care. I got it. Just kiss me. Oh. 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 Um, you kiss by the book. Oh, coming, mother. 
Is she a Capulet? Aye, so I fear. The more is my unrest. Oh, just pretend you're not there. Uh, what? what are you doing? The balcony scene. Oh. Um, but soft, what light through yonder window breaks? Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. <laughs> Okay, what's in a name anyway? That which we call a nose by any other name could still smell. Oh. So Romeo would, oh, Romeo, doff thy name, and for oh. thy name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. Okay, down. <laughs> I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I shall be new baptized. Henceforth I shall never be Romeo. What man art thou? Art thou not Romeo? And the Montague? Neither, fair maid, if either thee dislike. Dost thou love me, then? I know thou wilt say I, and I will take thy word. Yet if thou swearest, thou mayest prove false.